Hello and welcome back to another episode of my Newcastle United save on Football Manager 2021. Today we face Manchester United and Liverpool, our two competitors for the title. So today I'm going to set out with the intention of getting six points because that's what you do in important double headers, isn't it, Derek? Yeah, I'm looking at you, little buddy. Since you last saw us top the group in the Champions League versus Inter with a 1-1 draw and then beat Arsenal 3-0 in the league, uh, it's been a bit topsy-turvy. We were 3-0 up in the Carabao Cup quarter-final, Maxi Gomez hat-trick, and then let them back into it. So it was very much squeaky bum time, but we did get through it, meaning we will have a semi-final against Manchester United, of all teams, over two legs, so that'll be brilliant. And then we played... Brentford on Boxing Day, and we had this important double header just starting just two days later. So I thought I'll rest some players, and guys like Bright Ari and Bai Omar Biaz got a game. Not good enough. A 0 0 draw against then 18th in the league, Brentford. But it does mean we've got a fresh side going into the game against Manchester United. And here is how the league table looks for now one point off Liverpool, one point ahead of Manchester United. And yeah, those are the teams we played today. And yeah, I'm scared, but six points is the aim. Anything less is unacceptable. So the side we go with for this is very familiar, as I'm sure you can tell. Ruben Blanco in goals with Ayer, Upamecano and Demi Lovato as the back three. Standard stuff. Mark Mulder as the wing back on the right with Tierney on the other side. Marcos and Vera in the middle. Malcolm, San Maximan and Maxi Gomez, the three-pronged attack. They are the best options we have. The bench is Woodman, Koopminers, Sondre, Olmo, Edwards, Jota and Wilson. So we've got options should we need it. Here's hoping we don't even need it. I highly doubt it though. I'm cacking my kex. And looking at the Manchester United side has not helped me whatsoever. The Uruguayan, Benteker, not Argentinian like I called him last time in there. De Jong, <laughs> Greenwood, Rashford, Isaac. We know all about them. I'm scared. They even got Haribo on the bench. Here's hoping he doesn't eat me. <laughs> uh, cannibalism. Funny. Been a bit of a hot start, that, but we're underway at Old Trafford. Here's hoping we can get off to a hot start. We're currently top of the league uh, because I think it must be an early kickoff before Liverpool have played because they, unless they lost, I highly doubt they did, let's be honest. Marcus Rashford, though. Get near him, anyone? Want to? No. Okay. Hit the side netting. That was a curler and a half. Goodness gracious me, we're coming up to the transfer window, so I need you to let me know in the comments down below what positions I need to get better in. I'm thinking possibly a centre-half, because I don't think we're going to win the league with Christopher Ayer at the back. As you can see, great save Ruben Blanco, thankfully. Bailed him out. I'm berating them, because this is a horrible start. Somehow, not 1-0 down yet. Grimaldo's ball in. Demi Lovato heads clear. Because that's what Demi does best, of course. And Malcolm breaks. Come on then. Go on, Miles. I'll use your 60-year-old old manny legs. Ooh, nearly in there. Not quite, however. Malcolm, is Andy Carroll in there? Oh no, that's my experiments I've been doing as Demi Lovato heads over. If you've not checked them out, please do. I made Andy Carroll a centre-back and let him break through at Newcastle. And we've done the first two parts of three now. And it's very interesting. More interesting than I thought. It's gone better than I had thought. And it's gone down better than I had thought. So, if you'd like to check that out after this and let me know what you think, then please do. You might be better off just going and doing it now because we are now losing and we are capitulating. There's money to spend in January. We're going to need to do it and I need your help. Oh, dear. Please don't actually go off this video and check the Andy Carroll ones out yet. Wait till after. Isaac in behind and a bullet out of a gun into the top corner there. As straight as an arrow. Ruben Blanco had no chance with that one. Unfortunately, there's only so much we can ask the man to do when the 10 men in front of him are absolute poo-poo caca. But here is Mark Mulder. We've got a chance here. 25 minutes. Mark Mulder flying on the right hand side as he often does. Gets it across, my man. Yes! No! I think he hit the post there, Maxi Gomez. After a hat-trick against Leicester, he did not feature. No, he did come off the bench against Brentford to no avail. Bit concerning this form. Not good at all. <sighs> It's all goal though. Malcolm, set piece in. It's not what you want, Isaac breaking through. Is it hit him? Somebody get near him. You know, that would be decent. If never mind just hitting him, get near him. 
We've taken hitting him too literally there. It's not what you want, Isaac breaking through, is it? Hit him. I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. We've given away a penalty. It's going to VAR. Nothing's going to change. Let's just wait for it. Oh. I'm not shocked, you're not shocked. Manchester United have a penalty. Bruno Fernandes isn't even there to take it. Rashford up though, and Ruben Blanco has saved it. That is not a shock either. He's been superb. What a signing he's been. Just needs some help from the absolute dingbats in front of him. Thankfully, he saved that one again. We're cracking up, we're cracking up. We're cracking, Newcastle are cracking up. Not even a shot on target in that first half. That's pathetic. Genuinely woeful. Things are going to have to change. On the pitch, not in terms of who's the manager. Enough of it. Enough, I'm telling you. Yes, we are going to a diamond. Callum Wilson coming on. St. Maximan injured, apparently not playing well either, so he comes off. Ayer into just in front of the back four. Fullbacks drop into fullback positions. They were wing backs to start with, so I glide once again, so that's a good start. That's what we're doing. We're on attacking. Let's hope <laughs> something helps and we score a goal. I don't know. I've got no strategy here. It's pretty reassuring, isn't it? No strategy from the touchline. No strategy on the pitch, clearly. Ruben Blanco has the ball, though. So that's one thing. We've got the ball. <laughs> this is great banter. It really is. How long that'll last, I don't know. Ruben Blanco hoying it long, despite me telling him to give it to the playmaker. So that's not good, but we've won it back. Marcos has stepped in. Come on, then. Oh, he's breaking right through. Finish it, my man. Unlucky, straight at the goalkeeper, but it's better. We've actually had a shot on target. That's a start, and we know we're a threat from corners. Let's see what can happen here. Malzer is going to put it in towards the near post. Unfortunately, it's headed clear, and Menino is coming. That's a good name. Gabriel Menino. Great tackle from Fausto Vera. Love that from you. Brilliant. Yellow card, not so brilliant. And the fact Manchester United have got the ball again, also not brilliant, but giving it away is pretty good. <laughs> If Maxi Gomez wants to challenge for the ball from time to time, that would be even better. Palacios, get in amongst them. They're schmucks, they're schmucks. Hit him. Yes, Christopher, you're getting sent off. <sighs> I'm thinking possibly a centre-half, because I don't think we're going to win the league with Christopher Iyer at the back. You're goddamn right. It's just painful at this stage, isn't it? It's just bad. We fly for quite a while through the season. Panic buttons after one bad result. And this is what's happening now. Good. It's going well. I'm literally just going to keep it the same and hope that Ayer isn't that important. So, yeah, that's inspiring. That's inspiring, isn't it? Oh, no. Here they come again. We're still on attacking. We've got 10 men. I mean, we're losing anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference, does it? Bentacur into Palacios. He's hit it off his own man. That one was our man this time, so that's good. Rashford back to Grimaldo. Don't go near them. They had a penalty as well. I forgot about that. Wide, thank God. Okay, we are actually going to change things so that we maybe have a chance of winning this game. What I'm going to do is take Fausto Vera back into the deep line playmake, right? So you got that. And then Malzar's going to play centre mid. He can't, but he's got the attributes too. Let's just do that. And we're going to tell him to get the ball wide. Well, not really, but get the ball in the box to the two strikers in there. They are clinical. Whip balls in. Hope for the best. Go direct as quick as possible. Yeah, that's the plan. It's inspiring. I've also got them playing for set pieces because we are kind of sometimes good at them. Not so far, though. Clearly. Pain. We're not really in the game, but we're not out of it yet with 15 minutes to go. So, yeah, we're distributing it to the target man now and going even more direct. I think that that's, seems like a fair plan to me, don't you think? Yep, yeah, I thought so much. I don't know what to do. They're not really getting much up in support of them. So I think Danny Omo maybe comes on for Malcolm. Maxi Gomez is playing terribly, but he is a threat. He is a big, big, big threat. He's only six foot one. He's not that big. It didn't really warrant that many bigs, did it? But here we are. So hope you're glad you came. Can we please do something? See any sort of Newcastle highlights? No. Hannibal didn't get there. Head clear. Dan James, right? Get into that little schmuck. Hit him. Not in the box, though, because that is how we give away penalties and get red cards. Okay, this is very last ditch. Over the bar, Divoco Rigi has come on for them. It's just what you want, isn't it? Brilliant. Here's Mark Mulder, though. Come on, then. Let's fashion a chance. A chance late on, please. If we get a chance, I believe we can take it and get something from this game. A point wouldn't be ideal, but we would... 
Get the ball in the box to the two strikers in there. They are clinical. You sit on a throne of lies. If he left that, it would have gone in. But no, he's offside. I've whacked something. This is not good. Not good at all. Yeah, we really are going for it now. Maxi Gomez having a stinker out there. So he comes off. Marcus Edwards on. Can we do something? I don't know anymore. We're just trying to get the ball forward as fast as possible and get the crosses in the box. There is a highlight. If we can win it and then break, that would be nice. But I highly doubt that that's going to be the case. Frankie de Jong, they're just going to look to keep the ball lie nice and low tempo. But they've given it away, so they're not doing it very well. Fausto Vera on the break. Give it to Callum Wilson ahead of you. No, okay, Marcus Edwards. Fine by me. Oh, that was the chance. That was the absolute chance. And we've not taken it in. Don't know what's happening there. I presume this will be it. It's got, they've gone, oh no. Oh God, oh no. This is not what we want. Isaac in behind. Get there, somebody. This is a long highlight. Like, great save by Ruben Blanco. It's kicked into action here. And we're not done yet. 30 seconds. If we can win the ball and break, then you never, ever know. But I highly doubt that that's going to be the case. We're going to go down to nine men. We're going to be about Fausto Vieira and I are going into the game against Liverpool, which is just what you want against the defending champions, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'm worse than Derek McInnes. I'm worse than Steve Bruce. How's he not been sent off? I have no idea. He definitely should have. We've been bailed out by the referee there. At least we'll have Fausto Vieira for the next game. But we're not winning this one, that's for darn sure. And Dan James, they're just messing about. Yep, fair play, fair play, good block. Yep, okay, I'm surprised they put it in the box, to be honest. It's done, we are crap. Absolutely doo-doo caca of the highest our order. Garbage. What are you still doing here? Edit this bit out. You're leaving it in. I know you're going to leave it in. And we're ahead of the Liverpool game. That is interesting. A bid for Christopher Iyer from Shandong of China. 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 And after his last performance, giving the ball away regularly and getting sent off, it's something I would consider. Let me know in the comments down below what you would do. I think for the right price, we maybe do sell him, but I do notice it says he isn't interested in speaking to them. Money talks, bullshit walks after all. And just a couple of changes from the last game. Coop Miners comes in, I are suspended and under transfer bid, so he maybe probably wouldn't play anyway. And Danny Olmo coming in at centre mid, Fausto Vera drops out because he should have been sent off as well. And he showed no consideration, in all honesty. And if anything, the Liverpool side miles better than the Manchester United one, so I can't imagine this is going to go well. I said, let's get six points before the start of this. I'm thinking now we're probably going to get zero, so... If we get one, then at least we're as good as Dent McInnes. Get none. I No, never mind. Sorry. That was against Livingston, not Newcastle United versus Manchester United and Liverpool. <laughs> and nonetheless, we're underway. So let's see how this goes. Hope you're all strapped in for the ride because I can't imagine it's going to be a good one. But Three shots, one on target. They've had none. So just end it there. I think we deserve three points just for that. We need them. Because Liverpool would then go on to 50 points while we are sitting on a measly 44 if they win it. And here is Firmino in our own goal from El Capitano Coop Miners. So today I'm going to set out with the intention of getting 6 points. Because that's what you do in important double headers. That's brilliant. Anthony was there ready to poke it home if not I suppose. But that's our first chance. The first chance we've seen of the whole game, but definitely their first chance. They haven't even a shot yet. They haven't even a shot actually at all. Because, yeah, Coop Miners decided to slide it into his own net. So, this is going really, really well. Yeah, they we're losing 1-0. They've not had a shot at all. We suck. Apparently, we're just not creating anything either. Going to go into half time down 1-0. If that could be 2 by then. Allison with the ball. And he's gone long, found for Bobby Firmino, but it's been won by Mark Mulder, sorry. Malzer, come on then, let's get a chance, let's get an equaliser for half time. Max Gomez take that down excellently, it was a good tackle by Virgil van Dijk. So, Max Gomez can't get the better of him, but Peter Pollitt can. I'll be signing Peter Pollitt in January, if you don't leave any better suggestions. Please do, I think Peter Pollitt's probably retired by now, in all honesty, by this. Uh, in a hospital ward somewhere, just broken. Just... Absolutely done in. Made of glass, that man. If you don't follow Scottish people, you have no idea what I'm talking about. In which case, I am very, very sorry. If you imagine Andy Carroll, but 
more lightweight and let's say at least half a foot smaller than him. Half time, we are Poo Poo Kaka. I've said it already this episode. It's confirmed now. I've thrashed my arm about. I did throw the bottle after the Brentford game and they actually reacted okay. They didn't cry, but by the looks of things, they maybe are shell-shocked from then on. Um, actually, we're on 43 points, so it's even worse. Seven points behind Liverpool are going to be at full time. Nothing's happening here, so this is good. Mark Mulder and Captain Coop Miners, who loves the known goals coming off. Diogo Jota and Cal Wilson up top alongside Matty Gomez. This is what we're doing now. Get on board. We've got two Mizalas. Yes, I know we are bad, and that's not going to help, but I'm going to give it a go. Okay, leave me be. 20 minutes to go. Demi Lovato's won the header, and we're going to get on to it. Okay, come on then. There's enough men in there to cause some problems for them. Danny Almo, find a man ahead of you. Okay, don't. What is that? You've got two strikers ahead of you after being fed by the other one, and that's what you decide to do, you absolute useless son of a gun. I should probably take him off. Yeah, yeah, I'd probably do that, in all honesty. Sorry, I'm a bit savage, though. We're going to be 2 0 down before then. He's done the exact same thing, so Jurgen Klopp's probably livid. This isn't very rock and roll football, is it? It's more just crap indie s, basically. That's all it is right now. We've given, given the ball back, so that's nice. Uh, Eric Garcia, I forgot about him, forgot to get angry about him, didn't realise he was playing. He maybe came on. I hate him with a burning passion too, but not as much as Danny Almo at this rate. Marcos, out to Malcolm. Come on then. They've, he could have thrown his cap on that. He's not wearing one, but he still could have. That's how bad it was. Almo off, Sondri on. Get another Brazilian in there. Please do something Brazilian, lads. We've got three in the middle, Anson Maximan, who's basically an honorary Brazilian with his tricks and flicks. So here's hoping that something happens. Nope, so we've given the ball away. And Kieran Tierney has just about kept it in, thank God. Keep the ball back to Ruben Blanco. Okay, recycle it. Let's get a point here, please. Just not That won't help us much, but just stops them getting further away. And it would be nice to still be in with a title chance. Callum Wilson in behind. Has scored! Okay, baby. Over 10 minutes to go with added time. His seventh goal of the season. We've got a chance. You're telling me there's a chance. He's found the bottom corner very, very well there in all fairness to him. And that is much more like it. We worked it very, very nicely there. Malcolm played him in behind, slotted him through. Tight angle, as tight as you like. You're disgusting. You're absolutely disgusting. Questions have to be asked of Allison there. Terrible. Tight angle from Allison. Enough. Enough! Come on, come on, into added time. Okay, a point, considering how bad we've been, isn't terrible, but not great. Not great whatsoever. I wanted six, got one, so Callum equals Derek McInnes, aka sh**. So today I'm going to set out with the intention of getting six points, because that's what you do in important double headers, isn't it, Derek? Yeah, I'm looking at you, little buddy. Oh, we should have done better there. We should have done better. But they didn't get any further away from us, so that's at least something. Shite! So after that disastrous episode, we finish it two points behind Manchester United and four behind Liverpool. We're not out of it yet. Miles between us and Arsenal, though, so that's at least something. But we want to go for the title. As you can see, it is the 1st of January. The transfer window is open. I have how much money? 53 million quid in the bank. I'm probably going to be shifting a few players out the door. So I might have a little bit more than that. Let me know which position I should be looking to strengthen. You'll probably know better than I am because I am in a mess right now. In the next episode, we will be back just with the first leg of the Carabao Cup semi-final against Manchester United. Then the episode after that will come out with the second leg, so you have to come back for it. You have to subscribe with notifications on so you know exactly when that goes up. But if you enjoyed this video, though, please do smash the like button. <sighs> There's going to be transfer action. There's going to be transfer action when you come back. Thank you very, very much for watching. Take care. I am going to have a lie down. And if I'm going to cry myself to sleep, well, I'll leave that up to you to decide it. We all know it's going to happen, don't we? Goodbye.